Welcome back to my channel. This equation from each energy in physics under linear expansivity. Okay, let's read that equation. A copper rod whose length at 30 degrees Celsius is 10.0 meter is heated to 50 degrees Celsius. Find its new length. Take linear expansivity as 0 0.00017 Kelvin. Okay, so solution. So before we start the calculation, let's know the meaning of linear expansivity. You know, linear expansivity is the increase in length per unit length per degree rise in temperature, right? So from linear expansivity, we have a formula which is linear expansivity equal to what? L2 minus L1 all over L1 multiply by the two temperatures. So this is a formula for what linear expansivity. Are you getting it? L2 minus L1 all over L1 multiplied by the temperature. So the L2 and the L1 are the lengths, are the given lengths. Okay? And this stands for the linear expansivity. The linear expansivity. This stands for linear expansivity. Why? The theta 2 and the theta 1 stand for the temperature. Okay? The temperatures. So from this formula, we are asked to calculate what the new length. So the new length is what is the L2. Is the L2. Okay? Let's write the formula down. Linear expansivity equal to what? L2 minus L1 all over what? L1 theta 2 minus theta what? 1. So if you look at the equation, the L1 is given, which is the first length, is given 10 meter, right? And also the two temperatures are what given, the 30 degrees Celsius and the 50 degrees Celsius. Are you getting it? So this is what we do. Since the linear expansivity is what, 0 0.0 0 0.0000 equal to what? L2 is not given, so we are looking for the value of what? L2, which is a new length. So L2 minus the L1 is 10 all over. The L1 is 10, right? So this is what we do. We have theta 2 minus theta 1, right? Meaning uh, second temperature minus the first temperature. This is the first temperature the 30 degrees Celsius, and this is the second temperature, the 50 degrees Celsius, okay? So you will minus 30 from 50. So 50 minus 30 is what? Is 20, right? So 10 times 20 is what? Is 200, right? 200. So you use 200 to multiply the linear expansivity. So 200 times this will give us 0. 0, 0, 3, 4. equal to we are left with what L2 minus 10. So here we collect light terms by moving minus 10 to our left side, it will change to what positive 10. So 0 0.0034 plus 10 will give us 10.0034. Equal to L2, which is a meter. So L2 equal to this, okay? So this is the value of the new length, which is 10.0034 meter, okay? So if you are given a similar equation like this under linear expansivity, you can use this formula or this procedure in solving that particular equation, okay? So you see that the calculation is very simple and short, right? So if you find it very really interesting, give it a like. Please share this video for other students to watch and learn. Very important, okay? If you have not followed my page, follow for more videos. If you are watching on YouTube, subscribe. 
more videos are coming from chemistry, math, and physics. Thanks for watching. Bye.